It's a wonderful treat and a real pleasure for me today to introduce uh, our speaker who has already has given her talk, her scientific talk, uh, because this is a special occasion and she's going to show us another side of her personality. And it's a special privilege for me because I have a grandson, 16 years old, who's applying to all the universities around to do exactly what Julia Greer has done. And I, I wish he could have been here to experience her talk and, and to hear her play today. I think it would be a great inspiration to him. Uh, what we didn't hear about Julia was her musical background. And I want to just share a little bit of that with you. She started out, as uh, Nicholas Peppa said, at the Nesson School in Moscow. And she uh, spent seven years there. But then her parents immigrated to the US in 1992. And uh, she got a scholarship to the Eastman School of Music. She was studying mathematics already in Russia and became interested. And we all know the Bach mathematics, uh, how much music and mathematics go together. So after she finished high school, she went to MIT. She got another scholarship at MIT in their advanced music performance program. And then after that, she decided, well, she's going to go uh, to graduate school. She was a chemical engineer at MIT, but now she's going to go to graduate school and major in material science and engineering. And she continued her musical training with the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. Now, all the while, uh, Julia was performing. She performed in very many venues, uh, Museum of uh, Fine Arts in Boston, MIT's Lincoln Lab, uh, MIT's uh, Kresge Auditorium. She has given uh, performances with symphonies, um, the Redwood Symphony, and uh, more recently uh, in Europe, in the, uh, Vienna, she performed the, Vienna, uh, the Beethoven's first piano uh, concerto with the Vienna International Orchestra. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you the pianist, uh, Julia Greer, who's going to entertain us for about 35 minutes. Thank you very much. I guess I get to, you guys get to eat and I get to work some more. <laughs> so thank you very much for this intro. You know, this is really special. I don't think too many speakers usually come out and do these two things. I want to tell you that when I, um, like Betty Sue uh, said, when I first moved from the, from the whole Moscow deal, um, that was a survival tool. I actually didn't speak any English, and so, but I went to a, ma uh, to a math high school. And so when I came to the US, all the math stuff that the US had to offer didn't quite, uh, we had already covered calculus, BC, and all that. Um, so, when, so I didn't speak any English. So in exchange for math, but the other kids, they didn't speak any math. So I did the <laughs> so, so I did the math English exchange, and so when so in, I kept them practicing because that's what I knew how to do. So I was practicing, and this conductor, the the high school symphony conductor, Nancy Strelo, walked in, and then she said a bunch of things to me which I couldn't understand, right? And I presume she said something like, "Who are you, and why are you practicing in this piano?" But I didn't understand this. So little by little, she said, I guess something to the extent of, "Let's go to the Eastman School of Music and see if maybe we can hook you up with some lessons or anything like that." Again, I think I caught Eastman and lessons or something like that out of that um, phrase. So, we went, so that's how I ended up with the Eastman scholarship because I started doing the math English trade with the kids, <laughs> with the other students at the school, and then and then little by little I went to Eastman. And then my so my my name at the time was Julia Rosolovsky, and um, my piano teacher said you should really change your name to Julia Ross. You're going to be the famous American you know pianist Julia Ross. And so. <laughs> So then, uh, so I kept on taking the piano lessons, you know, and, and at some point, you know, after high school, you kind of have to think about the whole career bit. And I was, I was only going to, I might, this is another part of being naive. You know, when I was uh, growing up in Moscow, I only, know, I only knew about one university in the US, and that was MIT. So, um, so when we moved, of course, I was like, I'm going to MIT. And then people are like, are you insane? You don't even speak English. How are you ever going to get in? <laughs> so, but I didn't know about the others, and possibly. In a, so I just told everyone I was going to MIT. And, that was a really gutsy thing to do, and I guess I did end up going to MIT. I don't know about <laughs> what miracle, but yeah, I came in a very naive uh, way, but I kept the, the piano. So, so today I prepared a few pieces for you. So this is actually, so I was going to compete in this Van Cliburn competition, which you guys have here um, every year, every two years, and the competition is. 
from June, 20, uh, June 18th through June 22nd. And um, I'm actually due uh, on June 20th. So, <laughs> so that's not gonna, I was already trying to, is there any way I could be in Texas and trying to do this thing? So unfortunately I can't do this competition this year. So this is my, I guess this is my version of the competition in, in, Dal in the Dallas-Fort Worth um, area. So I will play, uh, the first piece I'm going to play is very short, sort of to, introduce, to transition you into the world of music. It's a Prokofiev scherzo from his second piano sonata. And then we're going to shift into the romantic world. We're gonna to go towards Schumann. So Schumann is this romant German romantic composer who was schizophrenic. So he had two personalities. So he, he had, in fact, he named them. Their names are Eusebius and Floristan. And Floristan is this fiery, crazy guy. And Eusebius is very calm and melodic. And hopefully you'll hear all that in the music. And then I would like to play this Mendelssohn fantasy for you, which is very, very pretty. And I think at that point we'll run out of time. And um, um, that will be the end. <laughs> so thank you.
one. Hopefully you've heard the two personalities. And then also, I should tell you, so you're German. And at the end, um, it says, schneller, schneller, even more schneller. And then it says, as schneller as possible. And then it says, even more schneller than that. <laughs> Clearly, it was an assignment. <laughs> so this is the Mendelssohn Cantatine extra pointer. For those of you who speak music.
can play. I can play some scrubbing actually. Scrubbing toads. Very very short. And I really really won't be offended if you eat. <laughs> so please. Just a very short scrubbing toad. So <laughs> the name scrubbing is actually Russian and it's pronoun it's a lot easier to pronounce it in Russian, but in English it sounds different. I'm supposed to tell you where to go after this wonderful concert. Thank you so much, Julia. That was a real treat. <laughs>